Hey, this is Math with Mr. C, and you've tuned into 15-6 Functions. We're moving on in 3, 2, 1. This is your opportunity to check your homework from 15-5, just the practice side. Moving on in 3, 2, 1. Just make sure you notice that these are not the X uh, numbers that you needed to put in. You could have picked any three, but these are just three possible answers. But your line should have been angled the same way, no matter what they were. So functions, what is a function? Any set of ordered pairs, x, y, is called a relation. We also call that an ordered pair, and now we're just calling it by another word, a relation, how they're related to each other. But a function is a special relation, x, y, in which there is only one y value output for each x value input. And if that's confusing currently, that's okay. We will explain it further. The table here shows the hours and miles that Lara biked. Is the set of ordered pairs in this table a function? Okay, so I see that there should only be one y value, which is over here, for each x value. So if there's an x value multiple times, so let's just say there's one listed multiple times, and there's a different number on the y value for that, then it's not a function. But let's see. Just a question, if you looked at this chart, would you be able to write an equation for it? Let's say if we, if we started at y, if we had y equals, would you know, if we end at y, what would we do to x to get to y? We're going to multiply it by 6, so the equation here would be 6 times x. So this is a function, by the way, because we wrote an equation for it that can represent it. Now if you can write an equation, it is a function. And this is what the graph would look like if you plugged in these numbers, the graph would look like this. Um, an easy way to know if it's a function or not is if you draw a line up and down through the graph. And if there's only one crossing point, then it's a function. But if the if it goes like this, you know, and there's two crossing points, one right here and one right here, then it's not a function. So for this one, let's see why this is not a function. So I see that there's, um, every one of these has the same x value, but if you see, they have different y values, and that is that it's not a function. If you have x, you can't have a different y value multiple times in my chart. And I'm going to explain more about what a function is in my own words after the vocab notes. So here are the vocab notes. Please write what I have circled in red. Moving on in 3, 2, 1. All right, so for our example 1, I would like you to write the equation y equals negative 3 is a function. Now, if you don't know how to plot that, well, basically, if you look, just every y value is a negative 3. And we could pick whatever x we wanted, but the y is always negative 3, and so y goes at negative 3, and so it's a straight line just across negative 3. Now, is that a function? Well, I said previously that if you draw a line straight up and down, if it only crosses once, it's a function. And there, it does only cross once, so it is a function. And at this time, also write this chart right underneath the equation y equals negative 3. So we have an example in your notes what you know is a function. Now let's zoom in on the second one. That will be not a function example. Please write the table and not a function. As you see, there are two y values for the x value x, 4. So here's 4 for x, and here's 4 again. Here's a negative 3, and here's 3. It's the same x value, but they have different y values. So my own words of what a function is, is it's kind of like a direction. I could interpret, is it a function like turn left? So the x value would be like if I was driving a car and this is where I started. I started at 4. Now it doesn't make sense if I, if I start at 4 and it tells me to turn left and I get to negative 3. Well, okay, that's one place that I went. Maybe I started here, I drove, I took a left, and I ended up here. But does it make sense that if you started at the same place and you did the same thing, you took a left and you ended up at a different spot? That does not make sense. So a function is when you put a number into an equation and you get something else. 
but it doesn't make sense that you'd put the same number in for x and you'd get something else for y. That doesn't make sense. And moving on in 3, 2, 1. All right, you don't need to take notes on this page, but I just wanted to show you more examples of what a function is and what is not a function. As you can see, it's okay to have the same y value for an xy coordinate as long as they have different x values, 3 and 4. And again, I'm going to do my test, and I'm going to draw a line straight up and down anywhere, and there's only one time that it crosses that up and down line, so that is a function. Over here, as you can see, it crosses twice, therefore this is not a function, with a clue word of turkey dinner. At this time, please write these tables and write next to it whether you think it's a function or not. Showing the answer in 3, 2, 1. So this is a function. We have different x values and we have different y. And here we have a x value repeated, which would be okay, but they have different y values or answers for each, which doesn't make sense. So that's not a function. And I bet you, you could even look at this table and try to come up with an equation for it. Something equals y. What would I do to x to get to y? Well, I multiply it by 4. So it would be 4x times y. On this page, you do not need to take notes, but I want you to take a second and then think about or explain to your partner, if you're with a partner, why this graph represents a function. And I'm going to tell you in 3, 2, 1. So for this graph, if I drew a line straight up and down, it only crosses once, which means that every x value has a different y value. Next one. Just take a second and think about why this is not a function and tell your partner. 3, 2, 1. So this one's not a function because if I drew a line, it crosses twice or just more than once. Moving on in 3, 2, 1. At this time, please copy these three tables and below them write function or not a function. The answers are coming in 3, 2, 1. So this one is a function because even though they're the same y value here at 16, they're different x, so as long as they're a different x, then you're okay. Once again, I know that there's the same y value here, but that would actually look like a straight line on a graph, which is okay, because there's different x values. But over here, you start at the same place and end up at a different place. That doesn't make sense, so this one's not a function. And moving on in 3, 2, 1. At this time, please click the link below for Khan Academy video and practice, and then choose one of these two options. You're awesome.